Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really easy beach towel cover up. So this is a beginner's project. It'll take you roughly 20, maybe 25 minutes to make this. So let's get started. Here is the beach towel that I am using and these just came out in Walmart and they had them with orange stripes, yellow stripes, blue stripes. I can't remember if there was one other one and I really like orange. So this is the one I'm going to use. The size of this beach towel is 28 inches wide by 60 inches long and I'm going to fold it in half. Now when it's folded in half it's going to be 30 inches long. I'm five foot one so it comes to about mid thigh on me. If you want it longer, then either look for a beach towel that's longer or take two of these and stitch them together. So right now I've got mine folded in half. And at the folded edge, at this corner down here, I have a pin at the folded edge. And I also have one up here at the folded edge. So I've now unfolded the towel. And where these pins are, that is going to be your shoulder seam and we're going to do a boat neck style of shoulder opening. So I've got my ruler lined up on those straight pins, but I'm going to take them out of the way because I don't want to ruin my rotary cutter blade. So you could either draw a line and cut with a pair of scissors, but I'm just going to use my rotary cutter and I'm going to just cut right along here and then move it up a little bit and finish cutting it all the way across. If you want to, you can go to your serger and serge these two raw edges here and try not to take any too much off when it cuts your fabric. So just go right along that edge and that will bind those edges. If you don't have a serger, then do some type of uh, overcast stitch, like a zigzag stitch or some other overcast stitch that you may have on your sewing machine. I've now brought front sides of the towel together. And here's the edge where I used a serger. So my serged ed edges are up here. Remember, this is your shoulder seam. Find your center. You can fold it in half again, put a pin there so you know where center is. You're going to need to measure how wide you want your opening. I'm going to make mine about 10 inches. Yours may need to be larger. So pin it first, make sure you can get it over your head. So then I'm going to take my tape measure and from my center point, I'm going to go out five inches on each side and put a pin and then go out five inches on the other side and put a pin. So let me remark this. Here we go. Right there. Then you want to stitch from your points on each side of the neckline and stitch a one half inch seam. I have the back side facing up and I've pressed the seam open and here's the neck opening. I've pressed these edges open and this is about a half an inch also. Then at your sewing machine you want to stitch these edges down. So go over about an eighth of an inch and stitch this down all the way across and go to the other side about an eighth of an inch from the center seam and stitch all the way across. Here's what your neckline should look like on the top side. And here's the shoulder and neckline area on the back side. Again, fold your beach towel in half with the front sides together. So here is the back and I'm going to measure an, an opening for the arms to be about seven and a half to eight inches from the top seam up here. Now I recommend you pin it together first and insert your arm to make sure that you have enough space for your arm. Then down here at the bottom, I decided to leave a four inch opening down here at the bottom. 
So then you would begin stitching here and back stitch and stitch all the way up to the beginning of the opening of your uh, arm opening. Stitch just on the inside of this folded edge right along here. The next step is an option for you because these edges are all finished. You don't need to do any kind of overcast stitch on them. But if you wanted to stitch it down like we did on the boat neck, then you could, here's the center seam on the side seams. You could go over an eighth of an inch, maybe a little more, and stitch these open. This went really fast. You can see it looks almost like a big giant square. So this is an oversized piece. So it should fit from a small to a large. Now remember, if you need it larger, just look for a larger beach towel. When I look at all this, it makes me want to go on vacation really bad. Now don't forget about making a beach bag to go with it. This one has a zipper pocket on the outside and it also has a zipper closure on the very top. Now links uh, to a link to this will be listed below your YouTube screen. Also a link to another beach towel cover up that I have, the one you saw earlier in the video. There'll be a link for that one too. So you just want to scroll down to the description section, click on show more or the down arrow. It'll expand open and you'll see a lot of links down there. Now don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.